right, it has been quite some time, and uh, I know I've been gone for a couple of weeks, and I apologize. Uh, just not feeling very well, and um, hmm. my um, my partner had two weeks off, so we basically had two weeks, and that was two weeks where you know I um, kind of took a break, really. Uh, from a lot of things, but uh, I was fighting a lot of uh, a lot of health problems. So I really, really do hope that you know you guys will understand that. I mean, it looks like everybody did, except for three people who just you know left, and maybe they don't know, maybe they don't understand. I don't know, or maybe they don't have the patience, and that's okay. You know, I I understand that. Uh, it takes a lot of uh, a lot of work, a lot of research to understand what it is that I deal with. So. Not everybody has the patience to listen, you know, and to understand that. I get it. I do. Um, but mostly this, you know, it was just like, I, I wanted to let you know what was happening, where I've been, and, uh, um, yeah, my birthday happened over the two weeks that I was gone, and, uh, yeah, I didn't get anything. But it's okay. You know, life goes on, and, uh, <laughs> it looks like Christmas is going to be the same. Not getting anything. Not, we don't even have a tree, but that's okay you know because we have a roof over our head and we have food and you know that's good and I really think that's something that I wanted to say honestly um, and I think people forget <sighs> think about the stuff you do have the things that are in your life right now that you have they matter they're there they're there right now and you're lucky you have that in your life already a lot of people, I think, focus immediately on what they don't have. And they stay there, you know, and they stay focused on what they don't have, and that's not healthy. I don't know if it's, uh, it's a thing that happens universally in, in the UK, or if it's something that um, maybe people in the US hide from, I don't know. But, you know, growing up where I did, um, there was a lot of... Um, I don't know, it felt like a lot of people were putting on confidence that they didn't have, uh, a lot of fake it till you make it kind of stuff, which is fine, you know, because sometimes if you do fake it and you continually do it, you can actually push yourself into a uh, success, which is really cool, um, you know, but um, I just, I just really wish people would stop and think about the things that they have. I. Um, especially this time of year, you know, it's, it's not all about presents. And, um, I'm not, I'm not saying that just because I'm not getting any presents, but I think, especially right now with everything that's going on, everywhere you turn is like panic, 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 panic on the news. And if I could give you guys any advice, it would be turn the news off. Like, seriously, just turn it off. Because it's only going to give you stress, anxiety, and make you feel like crap. You know that. You know, you know, you know that. So, do yourself a favor, you know, and, and just try to focus on your life and the people that you love and the things that you need to take care of. And, you know, don't feel like you don't have enough in life because I'm sure if you stop and think for a minute you have more than you realize okay I mean I could complain I could complain about a lot of things <laughs> I'm sleeping on two pillows in the living room on the floor however it's more comfortable than my bed because my bed is just we can't sleep on it anymore it's so bad <laughs> And, you know, I could complain about that, but for right now, we're adapting and we're sleeping on pillows and blankets until we can, like, afford to get everything hauled out. That's fine. It's what you do, you know? I mean, I have a roof over my head. Do you know how that feels? I, I used to be, I used to live on the streets. I was out there for a good six months and um, there's nothing like having a place to call your own nothing like it at all and you know I would suggest being thankful being more aware and more thankful for what you have um, 
And this does really play back into the whole, you know, me being a person from America coming to, you know, to England and realizing the amazing opportunities that they have here. It's like when I first arrived here and I realized that I didn't have to be afraid to be sick anymore. Huge weight gone from here, you know, just huge weight is gone. Do you know how many millions of Americans right now are going through that? They're fighting off disease, they're terrified, they have nowhere to go if they do get sick, you know, and they're just suffering. It's, it's awful, honestly. Um, and then, of course, you know, the, the people in the medical community, they, they are, um, they're required to help, you know, because they have their, um, they have their oath that they have to take, right? But after that, they're not responsible for the, the accrued bills, uh, and there's so many, for so many services. You didn't even think they could, you'd be, you could actually charge someone for, right? So, you know, I mean, that's one thing about living in the UK that you can be very thankful for, is you don't have to be afraid to be sick. Say thank you for that. Honestly, when I hear people complaining, the, the, the few times that I'm actually able to get to the pharmacy, the, the chemist, um, and I hear people complaining about having to pay what they pay, there's really a part of me that thinks, that the NHS and the corresponding chemists and, and, you know, the whole infrastructure really should put out itemized bills not to be paid, not saying you're being charged this, this is what you have to pay us, no, but just to show what it actually costs, you know, because I think if people realized how much something actually cost, I don't know, it might be shocking for some, of course it's not for everybody, I mean, people, some people will just look at it and be like, eh, whatever. I know people like that. <laughs> they just, you know, if it if it doesn't affect them personally, they don't care. And that's a weird way to be, but whatever, you know. Um, I mean, living in England, in the UK, um, you know, the education opportunities are are much higher than what we have over there. Um, and and it just it feels like there's a safety net here. And more of a focus on um, on people than over there. Over in America, I often felt disregarded and ignored. And I'm a, I'm a veteran, military veteran, and uh, just you know the way they treat people is uh, is questionable. When you consider how many people are homeless over there that are actually veterans, it's unbelievable. But I'm not here to go into like the statistics on that. I could. I really could, but I won't, because, uh, you know, that's not what I'm trying to make this video about. I'm just be trying to, like, tell you things that you should really focus on what you have. And the fact is, you know, if you have a roof over your head and it's not leaking, <laughs> if you have food available to you and you can take a bath and you have a toilet available to you and, I don't know, let's say... You have a light that you can turn on every day and you have clothes that fit you and you know what you're not doing too too bad you've already got the basics a lot of people in this world don't have even the basics you know and I just whenever I'm really really not happy I try very hard to focus on what what is good in my life and what I have and that really helps that little tailspin of depression sometimes you know you get your thoughts get you know I think it's much better to stay focused on the positive and uh, just keep moving on through it and that's what you got to do uh, past couple of days I've been really sick uh, my medicine uh, made me um, let's just put it this way there were a few unscheduled stops um, kind of like if you drink too much um, in the bathroom uh, <laughs> and it was not fun and then as I'm recovering from that my cat decides uh, well I have an upset tummy too oh joy so yeah you know clean that too life can sometimes kick you when you're down but you know what 
you've still got a leg up on most of the world, you know? Most of us that are watching this channel, we live in countries where we take so much for granted and I just, I don't know, I just want people to stop and think for a second. Okay. And, you know, I'm traipsing along on YouTube. I don't know if I'm going to get anywhere, but you know what? I, I like talking to people and um, I just wanted to like, let you guys know the last two weeks have been very hard for me, but um, we're back. I'm back. <laughs> we, I don't know, me and my stuffies. Anyway, um, I'm just taking a few minutes out of my day because uh, I have a lot of catching up to do. Uh, but yeah, I hope you guys are doing well and um, yeah. All right, I'll talk to you later.